welcome back to my channel. I'm Bean, and today I am filming a hey, ton, ton of videos. videos. So if it looks like I've got the same outfit on in the last three videos, that's because I do. So today I've got an empty bag to show you, and I am really excited. I've got some good stuff in here that I want to talk about with you guys, and maybe some bad stuff. I don't really know. Stuff I've used up. I really like to go through my empty products because then it kind of gives me a chance to kind of look back and see what I liked, what I didn't like, why I liked it, you know what I mean? So let's get started. So I have this little Sephora bag and I put my empty stuff in it and when it gets full I chit chat about it. So the first thing that I've got is this Batiste dry shampoo. This is the coconut and exotic tropical scent. I love Batiste dry shampoo. I use it to soak up my oil. I use it to volumize. I use it all the time. I get really oily hair really fast. Like I can wash my hair and then like the next day it'll be just like oil which is disgusting. I know. So if I wash it continuously, it just makes more and more oil, I found out. So I usually go like a couple days and then I wash it again. So dry shampoo is my best friend. And I have found out that if I do go a couple days, my hair has started to get less oily. So like over time while I've been doing this, my hair has started to get less and less oily, which is awesome, right? Nobody wants oily hair, ew. Ugh. So I always use dry shampoo. The tropical one and the um, sassy, and Daring Wild one are my two favorite scents. This one does leave a little bit of a white cast on your hair, but if you give it a minute to set and soak up the oils and then, you know, like fluff through it, brush your hair, all of that white cast goes away. But once you get used to it, super easy to use, super easy to get that white cast to go away, and it smells really good. Next thing that I've got are these simple micellar wipes. These are the wipes that I always use my skin is kind of sensitive to cleansing wipes, I guess. At least the Neutrogena purple ones. I can't really use them. It breaks my skin out. It gives me all these little bumps on my cheeks and gives me a lot more redness than I already have, which is a lot. And these, I found out, are really gentle on my skin. They are the sensitive skin ones and they are, they have the like micellar water in them. Oh, I forgot to tell you, will I repurchase this? Obviously, I already have some. So yeah, as far as these go, already got another pack going so I will always repurchase these until I find something better but I usually just keep getting these because they work for me next thing that I've got is the Garnier skin active micellar cleansing water this lasted me forever and this is the all-in-one makeup remover cleanser and refresh I usually just use this to remove my eye makeup I don't really use it to remove makeup on my whole face that's what I use this for and then I use this on my eye makeup and then I wash my face but I think this on a cotton round is really good for removing your eye makeup. You don't really have to like rub and scrub at your eye. You can just like hold it there and then wipe it away. Will I repurchase it? I'm not sure. This simple brand that makes the wipes that I really like makes a micellar water as well. And while I like this one, sometimes it will sting my eyes if I get it directly in my eyes. So I'm gonna try this one and see how theirs goes. I also wanna share with you the way that I use this because it's kind of annoying in this big bottle and the, like the top just kind of, it like drips out a lot. So I found these little things at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and they are like the little things that you see at like Ulta and Sephora where you push down on it and the product comes up in the little like tester areas and I use them to keep my micellar water in. So I guess technically I haven't used this up yet because I still have some in here but the bottle is empty now so I feel like talking about it. But yeah I do still have some in here and I think this is a really convenient way to use it. So if you see these at your Dollar Tree pick them up they're awesome. Next thing is the Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner. I got this in a birch box a while ago and I love it. Will I repurchase it? Probably, but maybe not immediately because I don't use leave-in conditioner a lot because of the oily hair issue that I was talking about, but it smells so good. It smells so good. And the bottle is rubber. I love it. It's like you it can squeeze. But this stuff really, really works well to detangle your hair. My hair gets really, really tangly because it's really fine and it'll get tangly really easy. Like I'll brush through it and then it's like instantly it's tangly again. And this stuff, I put it in, I brush through it and my tangles are gone and they pretty much stay gone for a while. I really, really like this. This is by Beauty Protector and I don't really know where all you can get this. I know you can get it on like the Birchbox site because it came from Birchbox, but I don't know where else you can get this. Besides that, so 
Sorry about that. Next thing that I have is this. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I got a sample in a subscription box a while ago and I've been using it ever since then. And I love this brow gel. I am so sad that I'm out. And I got talked in to trying out a different one when I was at Ulta. I got the Benefit one and you guys, I don't know if I love it as much as this one, honestly. I thought I would because of the brush, but I really, really just like the spoolie brush that this one has. The other one has like a different brush and it's got like different sizes of bristles so you can really get like into your hairs but it's just it's kind of flimsy and I don't know. But this is a plus for me. Definitely would recommend this brow gel. It's awesome and I love it. The next thing that I've got is this Tarte Clean Queen Vegan Deodorant and I really like this deodorant and I have not used up all of this one but I wanted to show it to you because this one is broken. I broke it. I don't know what I did but I broke it. In order to use it I have to dump it out and like hold it like this and use it like this but I really wanted to talk to you about this because I really like this deodorant. I think it has a really good clean scent to it. Will I repurchase? Yes. I'm using up that one until I get to it, but yes. And it looks like this, and it's in this big tube. There is a lot in here. It lasts for a long time. I just did something and I cracked like the inside thing that like moves it. So this is a sample of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and I really have only used this little container of it, but I really, really liked it when I was using this, and probably will get this foundation in the future. I've got a couple that I'm using right now, so I don't really want to spend like 40 some dollars on this. Well, I've got some other ones that I really like, but for in the future when I do need a new foundation. This one is really good and I would definitely recommend it. It stays on all day and that is one of the things that I loved about it. Next thing that I've got is this Wet n Wild Pressed Powder Compact. I love this powder. The only reason that I'm getting rid of it is because I broke it. Now it's like really powdery and not so much a pressed powder anymore. I really like this powder. It's really good for setting your under eye. That's what I use it for the most. I'm really sad that I broke it, but it's like wet and wild, so it's only like a couple dollars, so no big deal. So that is the pressed powder. This one is in the shade Warm Light 821E. Looks pretty good on, doesn't have flashbacks, so checks the boxes. And then the last thing that I have is some lash glue. And this is the Duo Lash Glue. And this is the like liquid squeezy tube ones. And I hate these. Okay. I hate these. I bought this one that has the like, it's like the liquid in the tube with the brush. I bought this one, put my lashes on with it, and I was like, nope, bye. And these went into my get rid of bin. Because these are the most annoying thing ever. You like try to squeeze out the glue and it comes out gloppy, like a gloppy mess. And it just like, no matter how hard you try it, you will get way too much glue and it just turns into like this like sticky, gross, nasty mess. I feel like it's just way easier to brush on a little bit and be done. So yeah, I, I hate these. I do not like this type. I do like this type. That is actually all I've got for this round two of empty videos. Let me know what kind of products that you guys have used up and what you really, really like and would repurchase down below in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel. You can hit the button down below or there will be a little pop-up somewhere at the end of my video with my face in it that you can click on and subscribe that way. Also, please do hit the bell. There's a little bell icon and apparently if you don't hit it, you won't see my videos. So if you wanna see my videos, please hit that little bell and you will get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!